مرحبا انا هلا هون موجود بهارفارد حابب اعرفكم على بروفيسور بدرسني باخذ مع ماده ليدرشيب اسمها سيستمز ثينكينج وبنحكي كثير عن الاديوكيشن وعنده كثير افكار سو so ميبي بدنا نتشارك مع بعض ف اود لايك تو ويلكم بروفيسور جيري برايتمان ثانك يو فور فور بينج وذ اس ذس مورنينج And wonderful. yeah, and Professor Jerry is uh, is a doctor at uh, a part-time teacher at Tufts and at uh, Harvard University. Yep. And I'm taking a class with him on system thinking, and uh, it's about uh, like changing what we call <laughs> mental models. Okay. But the focus of this video will be the teachers. We were talking about creative teachers and how teachers can be creative and how teachers can. can learn especially when they have different challenges so how can can teachers be creative especially when there are lots of challenges around them yeah i um i i think because i had many bad teachers in the world in the past in going for degrees and and in school mm -hmm. i vowed that if ever i would become a teacher i would do it differently uh -huh. i i would do it so that it would be interesting exciting creative and challenging all at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I think I would have been a better student if my teachers had taken more interest in me and allowed me to use the creative energies that I had. So I think I think to be a good teacher it starts first from really understanding and knowing your students and who they are and what they're what they're interested in and trusting them. Just like we're doing in our class. True. Now, I, I, I believe in everything that you said, but I want to take the devil's advocate for a second. Please. Just to make sure that the, like the te teachers that are, who are struggling the most that are with us. Um, you have, as a teacher, um, you have burdens from the administration that there's a syllabus that you need to cover. And you have to cover it in a certain amount of time. And of course, there are assessments, there are gradings and, and, and marking, and there are the parents who come in. So you want to make a difference. You want to reach every child individually. And, and also, by the way, another big problem is that you have so many students inside the classroom. So how can you deal with all of those things and, and still be creative? And what does even creative teaching mean? Yeah. So. You've asked 12 questions, <laughs> and I will do my best to answer them as best I can. Yeah. But uh, I, I, th I think one example is Tufts, uh, where I teach part-time. I've been doing that for 15 years. Oh, wow. And what we do is um, there are four of us that have to teach the course the same way because it's, it's under a two-year MSEM, Master of Science and Engineering Management program. Mm -hmm. So our courses have to be identical. We have the identical syllabus. The learning outcomes are the same. So how do I get to project this so-called creative thinking with them? And to be honest with you, I think I'm a little bit of a rebel. Sometimes a good teacher, I think, has to maybe break the rules a little bit, not to get in trouble, but to make sure that the learning objective is done, but in a more creative and different way. So I do follow the syllabus. I have great respect for it. I help design it. But the way I teach it may come at it from a different perspective. I may use an interactive activity instead of a lecture because mm -hmm. I think that lectures are a little bit boring. <laughs> but they still get the same learning from it. Uh, rules are tough. And my wife has described me sometimes as a rebel. But I think it works sometimes. And uh, you don't want to be crazy because they'll fire you and they should fire you and they should get rid of you. It's your choice to teach there or not and follow the rules. but you can go around the rules in a creative way. So what does creative teaching mean? Um, the term that I've used a lot in your class has been uh, uh, getting out of the box. And everyone uses the term getting out of the box. But I think it means looking at the same thing in a very different light. Mm -hmm. um, so f for me, teaching is like uh, not teaching. You are, you are a facilitator. You make things happen. You create uh, a structure Mm -hmm. for, in my case, leadership and learning. And that structure influences the behavior, which is the learning outcomes that we want to create. Cool. And, and what sort of advice do you have for teachers who really want to be great teachers, but maybe there's a, some kind of lack in uh, maybe some tools or maybe from support from the administration or, or any kind of uh, demotivators? 
I, th I think they're going to have to be rebels, too. I think they're going to have to be fighters. I think they're going to have to fight for their students. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to want the best for their students. The students should always come first. And, and you know, I almost think of someone like Gandhi, mm -hmm. you know, with kind of peaceful protest. But keep pushing the administrators. Tell them that their rules are not working. Uh, Einstein once said that uh, the skills that got us to where we are today are not necessarily the skills we need going forward. So does teaching. Uh, the, the power of a, of a country is based on its educated True. people. I, I and we want to we create that foundation with them. So we have to find ways to get to the students. Otherwise, the students will say, oh, I'm wasting my time. I, I should go out work or something like this. Here, the work is in the classroom, recognizing the students for, for the brilliance that they bring, not to kill the, their creativity, but to find a, a structure that will make their creativity blossom. And that's hard. It's hard work, but these dedicated teachers that you speak of, they will find a way. Thank you so much for being with us oh, this morning. It's my, my pleasure. Thank you very <laughs> Thank much. You. I great. do appreciate You're you. You're trying to do the best you can for Thank your, you. for your students. Thank you. I hope to see you in Jordan. Maybe we'll plan something out. Next week at 5 o'clock. Next five week. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> let, me, let me do the booking right now. All right, guys. Thank, Thank you so you. much. And I hope that this has been beneficial.